Americans. This is concerning. It's also, con it's also concerning that one of the other pay-for provisions, the one focused on cryptocurrency, focuses on an industry that's rapidly developing, rapidly developing within the United States, that depends on a lot of innovation happening in the United States. One of these pay-for provisions seeks to bring in more revenue to the federal government, or at least to promise more revenue to the federal government, with the promise of requiring those who spy and sell cryptocurrency to treat it the same way as they would the exchange of securities. Mr. President, this is very different than securities. These aren't just stocks. It's something very different. It's a medium of exchange that, if adopted more widely, could facilitate a lot of economic activity and a lot of innovation within the United States of America. If, in fact, we pass this bill, mark my words, it's going to have a chilling effect on innovation within this sector. And what you'll see is that the flight of innovation and investment related to innovation to offshore locations around the globe, places outside the United States, may well be the ones to reap the benefit associated with the loss here in the United States if we adopt an unproven, untested, unknown strategy for dealing with something, trying to adopt many decades old regulatory policies to a completely new form of exchange. One that, by the way, values very highly the privacy of those who exchange in it. And so if what you're going to do is take away that value by requiring that all of it be registered and publicly disclosed and by giving the federal government the ability to peer into it, you're going to stifle innovation. You're going to make a lot of people upset and you're going to make Americans poorer. At the heart of a lot of this,